years. Joining us now from Austin, Texas, Courtney Anderson, a criminal defense attorney. I, I was just amazed. I don't, you, I don't read the Houston Chronicle every day. It's taken a lot of shots at me, so I assume it's left of center, but I could be wrong. But, I mean, this editorial is so ridiculously dopey. They want watch programs, more uh, counseling. Do you believe, counselor, that society owes convicted sex offenders a chance to rehabilitate themselves? Do you believe that? I think society deserves to be as free as we possibly can from the threat of recidivism, and that's what the editorial's point was. Well, I think keeping people in for 25 to life, that kind of cuts down on recidivism, does it not? It's a great place to start, and certainly I myself and anybody else, we don't want to be victims of violent crime. I would hate, I mean, it's a nightmare, it's a fear of mine that myself or a loved one is a fear of, of violent crime. It's is a different victim than of violent that, crime. It's different. So the, the situation, though, is when, the, when, there's, when these individuals are released, what do we do then? Then you put them on a GPS, and you know where they are at every second, and if they do anything, you put them back for life. That's what you do with them. But this the, paper, come on, counsel, let's be honest here. <laughs> the argument, if, if, wait, wait, wait. If you molest a child, you ruin that child's life. Absolutely. Okay? You ruin the person's Absolutely. life. If you rape a woman or a man, you ruin their life. You kill them, you take their life. Counseling, community service projects, all of this touchy-feely BS the Houston Chronicle is putting out there because, whoa, far be it from society to have zero tolerance against child molesters. We can't have that. This is the kind of pinhead stuff that's hurt this country. I, I certainly agree with you that touchy-feely approaches are absolutely not what we need. What we need are results. And what the editorial is asking and demanding is that politicians come up with real solutions. What the editorial states very clearly is that the overwhelming majority of people who are child sex offenders are not strangers. Now, I know that most of us are, think, oh, my goodness, someone could come in my home in the middle of the night and hurt myself or a loved one. But the statistics show it's usually, unfortunately, a family so why, member. I don't care who it is. Family. Well, that's what the article is talking about. It doesn't matter. No, no, but it you're, you're misreading this article. Article. This that, article, number okay. one, criticizes Florida for passing a law, says they don't like the law. The law is too harsh, all right, it's number not, that's one. That's not what they're saying. They're saying it's not effective. And that's what, what they're saying. What do you mean it's not effective? Want. It takes, it takes a first-time child. 